or at least the two of us, for 5 slash 1 slash 2 and slash 3, I am Teacher Maria. And for 5 slash 4, 5, uh, five slash 5, and 5 slash 6, I am Teacher Yuri. Okay, so today we're going to study about um, ways to reduce and increase friction. So I'm going to discuss first what is friction, okay? So friction is a force that acts in the opposite direction, okay? So if the movement, uh, if the movement is going to that direction, friction will be on the other side, okay? This will be friction, okay? Friction occurs only when there are two surfaces in contact and um, it acts in the opposite direction. Okay, we already discussed this in the class, okay? So now we're going to discuss the factors affecting friction, okay? Um, factors affecting friction. There are two factors affecting friction, okay? First one is the type of surfaces, okay? Okay, so First is the type of surface. If the surface is rough, then there are um, there's more friction or greater friction, and the lesser the uh, the roughness of the surface, then less friction. Okay, and the second one, friction also depends on the weight of an object, which means that the lighter the object, there is less friction because there's less. Uh, they are not pressed harder in the, with uh, two different surfaces. So there is this less friction. While with those heavier objects, they are pressed harder towards each other. That's why there are there is an increase in friction. For example, we have um, a table. A table is actually heavier than a chair. So basically, if you're going to push the chair, since that the chair is actually lighter when you're going to push this towards the surface, it actually just glides through the floor because it's lighter. While, uh, whereas for heavier objects such as this table, it is harder for it to slide through across because it is heavier, which is increasing the amount of friction between the two surfaces. Now, so for our main lesson, ways to reduce and increase friction, let me start with the ways to increase friction, okay? As we said, the, the type of surfaces affect friction, okay? So there are different ways on how you are going to increase friction. Um, it's basically the rougher the surfaces are, the greater the friction. So you can use rubber pads, use rubber pads, so for like um, this, this stereo, this stereo, on the bottom of this stereo or the player, there are rubber pads, okay? So this way, it increases the friction when it's on the table. So when we put the the player on the table, it increases the friction. Rubber pads increases friction. Another example is this pen. This pen, if you're going to observe the pen, there's rubber here. So when you write, the pen does not slip from your hand, okay? The rubber increases the friction. Another way to increase friction is to use deep threads. Deep threads, like um, in car tires, we already discussed that. Car tires, um, they have threads. Uh, your shoes, the sole of your shoes also have threads. Um, and you can also use brake pads. Use brake pads. So when you use brake pads, um, in the bicycle, when you press the brake, you see the rubber pressing the wheel. 
to that one increases the friction and ultimately make you stop. You slow down and then you stop. And as I said, you use rough surfaces. Because the rougher the surface, the higher the friction. Uh, another example is this one. You see, maybe you have seen face shield now. We are using face shield. This one has a sponge. And the surface of the sponge is rough already. And it also um, increases the surface area up here. So when you put this on, on your head, it will stick to your head. Okay? So these are the ways to increase friction. Now let's go to the ways on how you can reduce friction. Now the very first thing that uh, basically reduces friction is the use of ball bearings. So for example, wheels or rollers, those cylindrical things that you put under your chair, they basically are making it easier for the chair to roll around because uh, they are reducing friction. Now one example is this chair. These have attached wheels at the bottom, which makes it easier to push, to pull, or to go around from one place to another. Now the next one is uh, using lubricants. So this one using lubricant. So basically, when you apply oil or grease into a surface, it gets the surfaces smoother. That's why you are reducing the amount of friction that is being applied. So basically, the first word is to use a rough surface to increase friction, whereas to reduce friction, you are going to apply lubricants to smoothen out the surface, which basically reduces the in both the surfaces that are in contact. Okay, so we have discussed ways to reduce and ways to increase friction already. Um, so we're going to send the worksheet for you to answer.